The AIS is a world-leading sports research center whose resources have benefited a wide array of the nation's best teams and athletes. The Institute's newest department is now putting a firm focus on combat sports. The direction the Institute of Sport has just recently taken to focus some time and effort in the combat sports is primarily strategic because all of the top 10 countries at the Olympic Games win medals in the combat sports, except for one, and that's Australia. So the combat center is a strategic maneuver to try to allow Australians to capitalize on some of the know-how the AIS has built up over the last 30 years but uh, to direct some of that interest into an area that might help the country re-rank itself in the medal tally. The AIS Sports Draft is a program providing fast-track development opportunities for talented athletes. One of the sports receiving this focus is boxing. It's really about finding the small gains or small advantages compared to your competitors and other countries. So we really want to use technology to be our advantage to help us make those small, tiny improvements that might be the difference between the bronze and the gold. Athletes and coaches at the Combat Center benefit from cutting edge technology in every element of their training and development. As you go through the combat sports immediately, you recognize that these athletes have to make weight. It's, it's weight dependent categories. And so there's a tremendous number of questions about how to target the right weight class. And we're really fortunate at the Institute of Sport to have our own DEXA machine, which allows us to get very high resolution measurements of, of lean tissue and uh, fat mass and, and gives us a great understanding of body composition and allows us to understand how to target an athlete into an appropriate weight class where we think they can be most competitive. Um, so this technology is, is emerging and new. It can be combined with other really cool technologies that allow us to capture what the body looks like. And we can do a laser scan of the body and this gives us a, a real a visual image of where the muscle mass is distributed. We can look at the upper body and the lower body and as they make weight or, or start to change their physique, we can see how the body is responding. Obviously as a dietitian, when we're prescribing diets, it's to affect changes in body composition. So whether we want somebody to put on muscle mass or lose body fat. And in order to track whether uh, we're having success with this, we need to be able to measure the changes. So some of the new technologies like the DEXA scanner, which we use, as well as the 3D scanner, could just give us a really good, accurate picture of how the body is changing over time. As well as the body composition stuff, there's a lot of technology that they're actually starting to bring into the actual training of boxing, which is pretty um, cutting edge. The other thing that's starting to really boom, not just in Australia, but around the world, is the wearable technology scene. And we're trying to embrace uh, that development and trying to make sure that the wearable technologies are going to be applied in a way that helps the athlete circumvent problems that are relevant to them. A ringside, we can walk over to the physiologist and find out, you know, what's actually happening with my body, what's happening with my heart rate, my breathing, am I really as relaxed as I should be or as, as relaxed as I think I am? Um, so things like that, uh, the technology is just in, invaluable. This is a, a depth camera. Um, so we've mounted this on the roof um, and what this does is it actually emits light particles um, and they go down and rebound off something that's underneath the camera, so in this instance um, a person in the ring. Uh, so what this gives us that no other camera actually does, um, it gives us a 3D representation um, of a person. Um, so this is something that's a little bit of a holy grail for sports science and also allows us to use this type of analysis in competition. Finally, there's also the chance to use wall-mounted sensors and we have a, a punch integrator that we're refining and adapting and we can start to simulate the physicality of a boxing match in a room um, with no one else there and, and measure very precisely how fast the hand is moving, um, how much force is being uh, applied um, to the pads as we replicate uh, competition-specific scenarios. We were able to probably use that machine to make small adjustments to our technique and then re-measure and find out which technique or which you know, stance is actually producing the most powerful, effective punch. 
I think to be part of a fast track program and for that program to actually be successful, you really do need the things um, that the AIS have here in terms of the technology and the advancements. It's just really enabling you to make informed decisions rather than just going on a gut feeling. You've got the data, you've got the imaging to back up what you think is right. And all this technology, it's easy to get enamored with it and have fun with it. And we can publish papers and ask many, many esoteric questions. But at the end of the day, what we're really trying to do is place our understanding of the sport and place our understanding of the, of the questions the, the coaches are asking into some order so that the athlete is not wasting time and they're advancing so that they can fulfill their ultimate potential as an athlete.